pleasant day to everyone. I would like to welcome you back to my online cookery class and I would like to welcome you to my dream house. Hope you can visit that dream house after the midst of pandemic. Well, anyway, I'm your teacher, Mr. Malam Bernabe. I would like to welcome you again for another set of video lessons that we're going to discuss. So for today's video lesson class, we are going to tackle and discuss the different kitchen tools and equipment. So this is very Im important to all of you to familiarize what are the names of the tools and equipment inside your kitchen laboratory. So the question starts, why we need to familiarize the tools and equipment inside our laboratory? This is very important class because kitchen equipment is a great help in maintaining the cleanliness or orderliness in the kitchen. Some of the equipment could help the cook chop, slice, and neatly mince raw ingredients. Cooking equipment is especially made for such because they are designed to be mist-free as well. So important, you are going also to follow the so-called 5S. So for today's video lesson, we were going to tackle the content of the following. So we have the content of the knife sets, the different sets of kitchen knife. So we will be uh, familiarizing the different kinds of knife. And we also have there the measuring tools so what are the so-called measuring tools and the different kinds of hand tools and also we have there the different kinds of strainers so we are going to identify what are those big mesh uh, big hole and small hole what are the names of this so there are different kinds of uh, strainers the different kinds of forms and their uses and also we will be discussing today the cookware so what are the cookware so the cookware are those uh, example of this are the casseroles and raising pans and others so we will be discussing on that and we will be also tackling the different kinds of other kitchen tools and of course the different kinds of kitchen equipment so I hope you're interested for this topic because very important for all of us especially you especially to our cookery students and trainees even food and beverage services students are important also for you to familiarize what are the tools and utensils that are chef of the restaurants being used every day First on our list, we have here the different knife sets or the different sets of knife. On, the, on my back, we have here the most familiar so-called chef knife. Chef knife is an all-purpose knife used for chopping, slicing, and mincing. So this is all-purpose. So can be used both chopping, slicing, and main thing the law on the shift knife we have the here the peering knife the, the peering knife is used for peeling and peering fruits of vegetables and fruits so peeling so pangtanggal lang ng uh, ginagamit siya sa pagtatanggal ng mga balat ng vegetable at saka mga protas from the word peering knife the next class is cleaver knife. Cleaver knife is a large type of knife that varies on their shapes but usually resemble to a rectangular bladed hatches. So the use for this cleaver knife class is only for bones, joints of the meat. So if you are going to chop the bones or joint I cut plates of, of the meat, you're going to use the clever knife. The type of 
nice class we had is the so-called filleting knife. Filling knives class are specifically used for cutting fish and removing bones. So a wide array of fish knives with viral cutting edges exist. But the most common ones of filling knives are large knives and those designed for cutting tuna. So that is filleting knife. Example of kitchen sets of knives is the carving knife. Carving knife class defined as the knife with an 8 to 15 inches blade used for carving large roast poultry. We have filleting fish, a large fish. Then a blade edge is carving knife is either smooth and bladed. And the use for this is when it comes to serving of meats like poultry, pork, and lamb or beef, a carving knife is the best tool for the job because it is well produced thin, meat, and fine slices, and even slices. A carving knife is also used for carving, carving vegetables, and carving fruits in times of your presentation or garnishing. So that is the best tool, the carving knife. And the next one is bread knife. So bread knife is a long knife with a serrated edge and it is used for slicing bread. So if you're going to slice bread or loop a bread, you're going to use the bread knife. So this is very important to use any specific tools when it comes to their uses. The next content class we have the different measuring tools. So measuring tools are measuring cups and sometimes we have the so-called measuring horns. So measuring cups used to measure wet and dry ingredients. Example are these. So this is the measuring cup and the measuring horns. Sometimes these measuring cups, especially this one, used for liquid and this one is for use for dry ingredients so measuring cups for measuring tools class we also have this the different kinds of tablespoon so it comes with different sizes we have one tablespoon one half one fourth and one eighth so this is also part of the measuring tools Aside from the cup, or we have the so-called cylinder that is used usually uh, made of glass with different measurement. So that is also an example of measuring tools. Next content that we had is strainers. So there are different kinds of strainer glass. Uh, one of the example is the common use that we see in the kitchen or in the house we have this so-called strainer so strainer is used to separate from solid ingredients by sifting fine grains then remove lumps and range food so this is important also in the kitchen so you have to familiarize this what we usually sift is the flour and sugar so we have the corn starch and among fine ingredients so we use strainers one also of the example class for strainer is we have the so-called chenwa chenwa is a conical safe with extremely fine mess it is usually used to strain costards purees, soups, and other sauces, making them very smooth use also for sifting powder or sugar. So that is the use of chinua. Another example for strainer glass, we have the so-called drums, shavy, or tamis. It is shaped somewhat like snare drum, and with a cylindrical frame made of metal or wood that support a disc 
of fine metal, nylon or cheesecloth mist. So this is type of drum type, round and big and there are medium and there are small type of strainer. This is used for sifting or irating your flour or your corn starch. Another example class for strainers, we have here the cheesecloth. Cheesecloth class is loosely woven gauge. This is used when a cloth cotton type used for preliminarily in cheese making and it is used for straining cloth. Sometimes this can be used also in pouring liquid like uh, soup you are going to uh, strain the different debris then liquid will pass through the mist of cheesecloth and we have good furious output for cookware we are going to start with the big one this one this is called stock pot stock pot class is used wally used for boiling uh, volume of water and used for Nilaga, Bolalo, and Sinigang. So stock pot used also for, from the word stock. So we can make their uh, bone stock, the different kinds of stocks. We have the fish stocks and vegetable stocks. So the cookware appropriate to use is stock pot. Another cookware class, we have the so-called tapered saucepan. So tapered saucepan is different to an ordinary saucepan. Tapered saucepan, also a small bottom diameter for less for exposure. This is flared sides hollow and good for stirring action. And idea for cooking for lower temperature for a longer time. So this tapered saucepan is used for best used for stowing food. The next example for cookware, we have the sauté pan. Sauté pan or sauter. This is a wide bottom area for maximum heat conduction. Ideal for sautéing, searing, braising, deglazing, poaching, and stir frying. Straight, high side help contain food and expose all side the heat. So that is saute pan as for types of cookware we have the fry pan and the saute use this uh, fry pan and saute use can be used of sauteing uh, steering slides because it is curved side walls AC steering and sliding of food out of the pan ideally class for frying scrambling sauteing or searing. Slope side prevent stream from forming the pan. So that is fry pan. We also have here is saucepan. Saucepan class it is a medium deep pot with flat bottom commonly used for make sauces and gravies. We have the so-called non-stick pan. Non-stick pan usually best for preparing your sunny side up eggs and scrambled egg because it will not stick to the pan. This is a very good kinds of kitchen tools because it is coated with materials that prevent food from sticking to the surface while cooking or frying. So that's why it is called non-stick pan. Next we have the roasting pan. The roasting pan class has Handles allow for AC, oven loading, and unloading, as well as convenient transportation. And it is heavy duty construction and has a large size accommodate roast, hams, and turkeys. So that is roasting pan. Next we have paella pan. Paella pan class is usually flat and shallow construction with sloping sides helps paella cook evenly and allows for the toasting of rice in the bottom of the pan 
and side the handles allow for easy maneuverability and it is very comfortable with all heat sources next we have the so-called ash aluminum dutch oven so some sounds like social dutch oven actually class a cast aluminum heats evenly consistent with no hot pots so food cook better and less chance of scorching so bawal uh tukag dire natutubod and imo ginluluto this is good actually class this is very ideal for stove and other uh baked dishes and also this is very resisting in sticking on rust so very convenient to use and this is also lightweight and easy to maneuver around the fast place in the kitchen so daan magaan lang yan diri ya mabuka we have wok so wok class featured flat bottom or round bottoms for high heat concentration Round bottom works requires a walk ring to sit on a strain burner. Ideal for stir frying, walk applications. Deep cured sides promote excellent food movements. Mandarin walks feature a single standard handle with while Cantonese walks feature two loop handles. So that is walk. In our vernacular Kawa or Karaha Nadako. And the last but not the least of example for cookware class, we have the so called casserole. Casseroles derived from the French name casa pan. That means it is made of a variety of a large, deep pan, bowl used for cooking variety of dishes in the oven. Or it is also category of food cooked such as visa. So this can be used for cooking lasagna, uh, cooking our favorite rice of course, and among others. Next content that we have here class is other kitchen tools. So other kitchen tools includes funnels. So what is funnels? Funnels class is usually used to pour without spilling liquid or small grain ingredients into a container with small opening. So this is used also for trans used for transferring liquid from one container to another container. So use funnels. Next we have here also garlic press. So garlic press is used to crush garlic cloves efficiently by forcing them through a grid and small holes so this is very important to use for pressing or minching your garlic gloves sometimes we have the so-called mortal and basil that is used also for minching your garlic gloves so that is garlic press we have the so-called Kitchen shears. Kitchen shears are used for cutting, stripping, or cracking nuts. A best example for kitchen shear class is kitchen scissor that used for cutting or stripping. Then we also have here pasta spoon or pasta server. This is used to transfer a little or much cooked pasta to a plate or container without a mess. So we are going to use the pasta spoon or pasta server. For kitchen tools, we have here chopping boards. Chopping boards comes with different colors and different varieties. We have also big, we have also small. But this is very important for us student to know what are the different uses of chopping board because it comes with different colors we have here color green 
used for fruits and vegetables. We have here color blue, used for raw fish or used for seafood. And we have here yellow, used for raw poultry products. So what is poultry? So that is chicken and other meats that has wings. So we also have here the color brown that is used for cooked meats and we have the color red for red color class is used for raw meats because red is a uh, refer for bloody meats and we have here the color white used for uh, pastries used for breads and used for cheese so this is very important for you to familiarize these colors and what chopping board to be used during your laboratory what color you are going to pick inside the kitchen so that is chopping boards we also have here box grater or grater grater is used to grate shred or slice food such as carrots cabbage and cheese so you use grater Next, we have ladles. Ladle class is usually spoon. A ladle is a type of cooking implement used for soup, stew, or braised product, or other foods, although its designs vary from one another. A type of ladle has a long handle. So, we have type of sauce ladle which has a long handle and it comes with different size we have 16 ounces, we have 8 ounces, and we have 6 ounces, and even 3 ounces so we have different kinds of ladle size so it is used for different uh, menu that is being served to our clients so ladles we also have here for kitchen tools class, we have the so-called emery boards or sharpener. This is usually steel type used for sharpening knives. So if your knives are dull, you're going to uh, sharp it with the so-called emery boards. But usually most common term used for this is sharpener. And we also have here flipper. A flipper class is used to flip or turn and uh, lift the pancakes, fillets, patties, and other kinds of food while frying and grilling. So sometimes it is called torn, which is usually aluminum type, but this is a flipper type of turner. This is made of sometimes chrome sometimes heavy duty plastic that could resist the heat while turning your meats like patties and eggs on the part two of this video lesson class for kitchen tools and equipment we will be continuing discussing with you the different kinds of equipment inside the kitchen laboratory for your assignment please answer these questions Name at least five kitchen tools that I missed to discuss and was not included in my presentation because I know there are still a lot more kitchen tools that we need to discuss but I want you to research and comment down below what are five kitchen tools that you know then comment the name and the uses and of course write also your name and section and do not forget class to subscribe our YouTube channel this is very important for you because if I forget to give you the link on your respective group chat YouTube will going to notify you what is our new video lesson please do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel presentation the TV. so for the meantime this has been your teacher, Mr. Malam Bernabe. I'd like to see you on the part 2. Stay safe, stay at home, 
and always feel beautiful and handsome. Thank you for bearing with me and Sir Malang is now signing off. Thank you for watching.